Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it is day seven. Um, so I, I may have decided not to, um, title my videos anymore with the so many days out of 31. Um, I think I'm going to just post every day. Um, so it's one week strong here. I think this is the longest I've done since I've been on YouTube and I've kind of been making those what ended up being false promises to myself. Um, and I just want to say thank you to a couple of YouTubers out there that have been, you know, giving me the kick in the ass that I've needed. Um, during rider has been a huge one lately. I just shut off his video, his most recent video halfway through to make this video. Um, because what am I doing sitting here watching and not contributing? Um, so, and, and kind of along those lines, so I was up really late last night watching, um, watching videos by a couple di different people doing variations of the Rotsville Forest, Arch Loose, and blah, 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 blah. Um, and, ooh, we're sliding. Um, something that I've realized, um, and, and I've never at any point said, this lifestyle has made me gain weight. Um... It is absolutely, activity is an easy thing to leave out. Um, it's also an easy thing to leave out the fact that we spend a lot of our time under a lot of stress, and stress plays a huge role in how our physical body um, exists. Um, so anyway, uh, my point here is that I'm really putting a solid effort into this full solid effort is no, there's no try. There's only, I'm going to do this. Um, it is time to finally do this. I've educated myself enough. Um, and I am putting the time and effort into all of the aspects. Um, so the food part, I am making it work for my current lifestyle. I am doing activity that works for my body right now. As I mentioned the other day, um, and I might be able to show you because I'm not actually driving right now. So this is my wrist here. And as I bend it, you see this like thing right here. So this is actually squishy. Um, it's not bone. So it kind of pops up. Um, and that's kind of the range of motion for me. Um, and when I go up, so anyway, I've got in two days, I'm going for an ultrasound to confirm or deny exactly what's in there. But for right now, I can't put a lot of weight. So my bike is sitting in the garage, not being used at the moment. Um, but I have for the last five out of seven days, I have gone for a, a very vigorous, uh, five kilometer walk wearing my Garmin. So I'm tracking my heart rate. Cardio has always been the really weak point for me. So it's, it's kind of, um, serendipitous that I have fallen into this lifestyle with the leaders being really strong on, um, like a lower intensity, but sustained, uh, cardio. So strengthening that, that weak point that I've always had. Um, it's not my muscles that got sore. Even when I was a runner, I used to do half marathons, um, but it was never my muscles that got sore. It was always the cardio. It was always the tight chest. Um, so I, um, I'm really excited to have these kind of, um, motivators surrounding me. So I'm putting that effort in, uh, today is going to be kind of like a rest day or a break day. Um, I might go home and do a bit of stuff. I did teach, um, a yoga class today, so I got a little bit of movement in. Um, but still no weight on that hand. So it is pretty limited. Uh, and today's my big day at work. And then tomorrow I'll get back to my 5k walks and I'm throwing a bit of running in, um, when I'm doing hills, when I go downhill, but I've already, even after being consistent for the last week, um, the one big hill on my way home going up, uh, when I went yesterday, I didn't have to stop or slow down. I was able to go through it and my heart rate didn't elevate to my max. So that was really cool. Like how quickly you see changes with cardio, especially, um, if you can invest in a heart rate monitor or, or a Garmin where it'll actually track not only your heart rate, 
but the speed you're walking, the elevation, or biking, whatever you're using it for, I, for the most part, um, the reason I got it in the first place was when I used to be a long distance runner. Um, but now I have used it a few times in the past on my bike, uh, and eventually I'll invest in the power meter and get the whole get up, but for now it's just making a point to um, communicate with you guys every day and hopefully throwing a little bit of inspiration or a little bit of kick in the ass out there once in a while. Um, and, uh, keeping that activity up, eating today has been more of a, not that it really matters raw cooked right now, but it's been more of a starch solution style day. Um, I mean, just using up some stuff from my cupboards right now. So I had, um, oats for breakfast with blackberries um and then I've got a big salad that has I mean actually this is gonna be my dinner um so it's a big container so I've got organic chickpeas organic frozen corn which is now thawed um and organic cucumber and then I'm going to be putting on top of it um this amazing stuff. We have it in, um, I'm in Southern Ontario, this salsa fresca. So it's kind of like, it's almost like a bruschetta. So it's like chunky tomatoes and I'm going to pour, um, a good amount on that and mix it in and that'll be my dinner. Um, and then another thing I've grabbed recently, I'm trying not to do the processed foods. Um, but something to keep around for me in those moments where I feel my blood sugar is dropping or my mood's dropping um, or I'm just getting irritable and, and I need to kick. Um, I picked up a bunch of these Cliff shot blocks. Um, they're delicious. They're like little like gummy squares. Um, they're totally vegan, zero grams of fat. Um, they say a serving is half a package. So three pieces or six pieces six pieces in each package. Um, but if you have the whole package, it's 200 calories. Um, and it has, um, it has a small amount of sodium. It has potassium. Um, so in three pieces, which is half the package, there's 24 grams of carbohydrates. So that's 48 grams per package, which is a pretty good kick. Um, and they're delicious. So it's a nice treat to keep in your pocket. Um, so I have a store nearby in, in Canada. We have Mountain Equipment Co-op. So it's similar to in the States, the REI. Um, and you when you buy 12 or more, you get 10% 10 10 discount. So I went and I bought a whole bunch of them. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm creating my backup plans to keep things, you know, keep things level. And yeah. So anyway, um, thank you all out there for giving me and others the kick in the butt we need when we're sitting there wanting to make a video, not sure what to say. I didn't know what I was going to say when I started this one. I hope you took something useful out of it. And uh, I kind of like this vlog style. It's just a little bit more free flow, a little bit more enjoyable. I don't have any notes here. Um, yes, so I'm going to head to work now. And I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And if you have any questions or any comments, if you've tried the shot blocks and you love them too, post it below. Um, I feel like they're like a little known thing. Unless you're a runner, then they're probably at the running stores. Um, anyway, get out there. At the very least, go out and get a walk in today. I don't know anybody that's ever regretted going out for a walk and getting their sweat on. So there's no reason. If you've never regretted it and it's good for you, go do it. Go do something good for your body. Go start depleting those glycogen stores so that we don't have to worry about those things that Earthling Nutrition is going into. Anyway, <laughs> that's another one. This has already gone on a while. So have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.